Hey guys, what's up? It's Bree, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to review this foundation. The color that I got was Cinnamon. This claims to be full to medium to full coverage foundation, and it's supposed to make your skin look filtered, honey. Filtered. So we're going to see. Um, this foundation also comes in 30 shades. So that's a good thing that they did dedicate, like they did think about us women of color. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing. So I spent $40 on this foundation. Here's the packaging. Here's the box. Here's the packaging. I really don't care about the box, but here's the packaging. It is plastic. I did see a couple of people complaining about plastic. Really don't matter to me if it's plastic or glass. Um... It looks like it's glass, but I like that it's plastic because I drop a lot of stuff. So, I know if this drop, it probably would not break as easy as okay. glass. I got cinnamon. I swatched it yesterday on my arm. I don't know if it's going to be too light for me, but we will see. So, this 400, 440G, um, and it comes with a pump. So, anywho, let's get into this review. They also sent me this little sample of the primer I did not pick up the primer because I was like if it already come with a sample I want to sample it out and see if I really need it or if I really see a difference in my makeup so I don't have any primer on my skin y'all so this is like the raw me okay and they said that this foundation supposed to be like the new wave so let's see so I already did like a slight eye makeup look Oh, it smells so good. A lot of people was complaining about the smell, but I really like the way it smells. It smells like, it smells like a perfume. <laughs> it kind of smells like, it kind of smells like, it smells like a really strong perfume too. It kind of reminds me of like the Chanel foundation. You know how the Chanel foundation have like that light rose scent? That's what it smells like. So this is really... It's not like the Fendi Beauty Primer. It's a little bit more, it feels like a little bit more greasy. Like I feel like my makeup is going to be real greasy. Like I look really, really shiny. But I like to see how primers work with stuff. Hmm, it feels like this is the type of primer you can tell something is on your skin. Like, and it's a little sticky, it's a little stiff. It's like, it kind of feels like glue. So, anywho. Huda also came out with the brush. But I didn't get the brush because I got so many brushes. And a brush is a brush. I mean, I just feel like you can't really see a difference. You're not really going to be able to tell a difference if you use a different brush. And I didn't want to spend. So, here, here's the pump. That's the color cinnamon. So, I'm going to just do it how I would normally do my foundation. So, that's just one pump. I'm going to just work this one pump in first. And I'm going to take my foundation brush. I always spray my foundation brush a little bit so it can have some type of... So, let's see. It does look a little light on me, but... Yeah, the primer is definitely like a glue. Like, it feels like a glue. It's, like, real stiff. The foundation is not liquidy. It's very thick. So, it's best that you kind of, like, buff the foundation in. Ooh, that color is a good color. I didn't think this color would work for me, but I like this color. Definitely for the cooler months. It's really windy out the door right now. Like, this foundation is the type of foundation is... If, like, you put it in one spot, like, that's where it's going to be. It's not, like, moving around. Like, I don't think this foundation will work good with a beauty blender. Yes. that this foundation is a full coverage foundation it it kind of feel more thicker than 
it feels thicker than Kat Von D foundation and you know Kat, Kat Von D um, cover up foundation is very very so I'm gonna try to pump another pump and I'm gonna come down a little bit cuz my neck is a little darker but my chest match my face as you guys can see so I'm just gonna pump another pump I just want to see if you can like build this up see this foundation is not a foundation that you can do this with and go in circles it's that type of foundation that you really have to like push it in like I can't do this this is you can't like take your brush and go in circles Ooh, this is a very I feel the weight of this foundation it's like whoo I want to take my beauty blender and just make sure it's not like a whole bunch of product left behind. I do look filtered though. Like it's definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and let it dry down and finish the rest of my face. I feel this foundation on. I feel it drying. Um, I do. I feel it. I really feel the foundation. Like you feel it. It looks really, really good. It does. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my ColourPop concealer and um do the rest of my face, and I'll be right back, guys. So here is the foundation after I put the rest of my makeup on. Honestly, it looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. It looks filtered. Like, I really look filtered and I really, really like it. Um, Huda did an amazing job when it came to this foundation. When it comes to this foundation, um, it's an absolutely amazing foundation. But, but, I do have a but. I do not recommend this foundation if you are not um, if you are not someone who wears makeup and when I say that I'm trying to say it in if you are an average type of girl if you just wear your your powder to work with your lip gloss your mascara this is not the foundation for you if you are a girl that really don't understand makeup and you kind of trying to get into it, this is not the foundation for you. If you are a girl that don't like to look like they're wearing makeup, this is not the foundation for you. I recommend Rihanna Fenty for those type of women. This foundation is a very full coverage foundation. This is this foundation is like kind of for I won't say it's for the pros, but you definitely have to know what you're doing with this foundation. When you apply this foundation, it hides everything. That can be a good thing and it also can be a bad thing. It hides it hides all the shadows in your face so you have to know how to contour and conceal your face to bring your face back to life you cannot just put this foundation on and go to work or go about your day without highlighting and contouring your face it will look weird it'll look like you have a whole bunch of it'll just wash you out and it'll look like you have on a mask and you don't want that so if you don't know how to contour your face and highlight your face and bring dimension in your face I don't recommend this for you okay I don't I just want you to save your $40 skip out on this foundation and so many other foundation Rihanna Fenty foundation it is full coverage but it also can be sheared out to a medium coverage and it's not it's not this consistency it it kind of is not thick this is a very thick if you are just the average girl and you just like to keep it cute and classy throw on your foundation throw on a little concealer throw on a little powder this is not for you but if you are a girl like me and we like that beat face and those perfect selfies and those angles and that full 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 coverage girl pick it up 
pick it up. It's very thick, full coverage. I like it. I love it. I have no complaints about it. All I have to say is it's not for everybody. Okay? So I love you guys so much. Hopefully you guys like this video. Um, if you want to see more foundation reviews, let me know and I'll do more. If you do understand well, you get what I'm saying when I say that it's not for everybody, leave some comments down below. Um, and I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.